channel. So today's video is a little bit different because I've done a festival inspired makeup look. So it's in collaboration with the movie Trolls and I got inspired by the troll DJ Sookie. Because DJ Sookie is just lots of bright pink colours. So although I'm not bright pink all over, I wanted to make this festival inspired look quite wearable. So I went with pink tones, definitely toned it down to more wearable baby pink so that you guys could wear this to a festival or you know to a party or whatever you want. Yeah, so basically because DJ Suki is pink, I just wanted to incorporate a lot of different tones of pink on the eye, on the lips. I put a wash of baby pink um it's like a sheer powder all over my chest and then I've actually put <laughs> I've put a little bit of pink through my hair but the hairspray didn't really work so I don't know if you guys can see that <laughs> so the movie is a really cute movie I have to admit I am an absolute sucker for cartoons I've always loved them and the Trolls movie is about finding your happy place and spreading happiness and I think that's just completely adorable so, so you guys should definitely go check out that movie if you haven't already if you guys would love to see how this makeup look turned out then just keep on watching so to begin I took my Outlast Day Fabulous foundation from CoverGirl in the shade Golden Tan and then put some Smashbox Studio Skin 24 hour waterproof concealer in the shade Light Medium underneath my eyes just to give myself a flawless base as we're putting a lot of colour on so you want your base to be as flawless as possible. So just blending that out with my beauty blender and then taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just going to bake underneath my eyes to set my concealer and then also bake my eyelids so that our eyeshadow doesn't crease later. With the same translucent powder, I'm just setting my whole entire face and then taking my Urban Decay, uh, I think it's the Naked Illuminated Bronzer, it's beautiful, it has little shimmers in it, and I'm just going to bronze up the outer perimeter of my face. I just wanted everything to be really, really glowy in this look, so I wanted to bronze with a shimmery bronzer, and then I'm going to contour as well with my Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Balm. So then taking my Becca um, duo with the blush shade Flower Child, I'm going to put a lot of blush on my cheeks because we'll be putting a lot of pink on our eyes and pink everywhere so you want it to all balance out so load the blush on. And then also the highlighter Champagne Pop. So just put this all over the high points of your face. I'm putting quite a lot of it on as I have gold stars going on later so this champagne colour will tie the gold in and all the pinks and golds together will make a sort of a beautiful rose gold. Then picking up my Burberry Runway palette which is just an extremely glittery highlighter. Um, I'm just laying that over the top just to give it more festival vibes by putting glitter everywhere. I just think of glitter when I think of festivals so um, I just wanted to make the highlighter super intense. Now I'm going into my Lorac uh, Pro Unzipped palette and I'm taking that light pink shade and using that as a transition shade all through my crease. And then once I have the transition down pat, I'm going to take a smaller brush and start loading that on the outer and inner corners to start making a, a halo eye effect. So I'm basically just rounding the shade out through my crease and leaving the lids bare for another colour to put on later. And I'm just picking up more as I go and building it up. And then going into the darker, readier shade, I'm doing exactly the same thing, just deepening up those areas. Um, deepening up the outer corner, the inner corner, through the crease, making that halo effect and leaving the lid completely bare. So now I'm going to jump into my Morphe 350 palette and pick up this gorgeous champagne foiled shade and I'm going to pack that on with my finger and then I will just take a brush and sort of blend out the edges just so there's not that really harsh line. And then I'm going to begin the exact same process on my bottom lash line. So I'm going to deepen up the outer corners of my eyes, the inner corners as well and make that halo effect on the bottom lash line and then I'll put some of the shimmery shade right in the center and then take the exact same shade and put it on my inner corner as well. 
But then I wanted the glitter to pop more, so I put on a bit of my Stiller Magnificent Metals in the shade Kitten Karma, right on the center of where the halo is, on the bottom and the top lash line. And then I took my favorite at the moment, the Stila Extreme Lash Mascara, and just put a light coat on my lashes, just because I'm about to put falsies on, so it doesn't matter too much. And then I took the House of Lashes in a Style Iconic, Okay, so now I'm taking a bit of my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde and just filling in my eyebrows and then going over with my Benefit Ready Set Brow Clear Brow Gel just to set them in place. And now for the fun part, I'm taking some stars and I'm going to stick them underneath my eye just using some eyelash glue. It actually works really well. And then I'm going to line my lips with my Hourglass lip line in Panoramic and then fill them in with the Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipstick in Coco K. I wanted to use a really baby pink so this one worked perfectly. And then I just put a whole bunch of glitter all over me basically. I put it underneath my eyes to like sort of seem like the stars were raining or glittering. And DJ Suki had freckles so I thought I could just make it cute by making some gold freckles. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, you guys can probably hear that my computer is freaking out, it's overheating, so I'm just gonna quickly finish this voiceover now. So basically, after all the makeup was done, I just tried a few different things. So I tried a flower crown on, I tried putting some BYS um, body shimmers on, so it was like a pink sheer, sort of shimmery <laughs> powder. I don't know, it just made a really nice iridescent sheen over my chest. I then sprayed my chest with some setting spray and put the glitter all over my chest as well. And then I put some uh, pink hairspray. Again, I don't really know what brand it was. I got it ages ago at a $2 shop, but um, I tried spraying that through my hair and it didn't show up that well, but anyway. So you guys can play around once the makeup's done and see what you, see what you like and how you want to decorate your outfit. Okay, so that's the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure you definitely go check out the Trolls movie if you haven't already. And I would love it if you would give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video.